Hi, I'm Adam from DudeInADrama.com and today I'm going to be showing you how to import Premiere Pro sequences into After Effects using Adobe Dynamic Link. Here I am in Premiere Pro and I have my sequence here with some green screen footage and I need to put it into After Effects to key it out. Now Premiere has its own keying facilities but I prefer to use Keylight in After Effects because I just think it's more effective. So you might as well take the footage straight into After Effects, right? But if After Effects isn't very good at editing, I don't really want to put it in there to try and edit all the sequence together and then key it out and because that gets awkward. And usually the workflow would be that you'd put it into After Effects, key it out, and then render it out, and then bring that into Premiere Pro. But as I've found before, you can spend a lot of time in After Effects trying to get the key just right for the whole clip because you've got a lot of footage and you want to get the key so it keys out the background in all of it, not just in some of it. And then I've gone into Premiere Pro and discovered that the bit that I found difficult to key out wasn't actually in the final edit. And if I sort of didn't worry about that part, then I could have got a better key for the rest of the video. The other way you can look at it is you can put it into Premiere Pro, edit the sequence into the right order, export that, and then bring that into After Effects and key it out. But if you do that and then you decide you want to edit the sequence slightly, maybe add something, move something around, you just end up with having to export it again, put it back into After Effects and key it out again. Which is a whole lot of faffing around and wasting time with exporting and rendering. So there is an easier way and that is using Adobe Dynamic Link, which I'm going to show you how to do now. As I said, here's my Premiere Pro sequence. I'm just going to move this out the way and have an After Effects window. Now to import it with Adobe Dynamic Link you go to File Adobe Dynamic Link, import Premiere Pro sequence. And now I'm just going to navigate through these files and I'm going to find that's the Premiere Pro project file and the sequence that I want to bring in is that one. I click OK and it's now in my project window like any other video clip. I'm just going to drag it down to composition to create a new composition with it in and there it is. And now I can key that out, do what I want with it and then I can export this when it's all finished, all the effects, render it out and if I want to put it back into Premiere I can or I could just leave it there because if I need to edit it at all, so if I bring Premiere back and I decide actually I'm going to make a cut there and I'm going to move that along there and make a cut there and I'm going to reduce that and I'm and generally change the size of it. If I now go back into After Effects you will find that After Effects is just literally updated and you can make slight adjustments or major adjustments to your Premiere Pro sequence and they'll just be reflected in After Effects. I've been Adam from DudeInADrama.com and I've just shown you how to import a sequence from Premiere Pro into After Effects using Adobe Dynamic Link.